Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a review and a demo of the Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties stack. So this stack, this is how it comes box. Let me show you how cute it is. So this stack retails for $48 and it does come with four eyeshadows and a mirror. If you're not familiar with the Melt Cosmetics brand and the, their stack eyeshadow palettes, they're really neat the way they are. They're really neat the way the packaging is. So this is what it looks like. So they're totally magnetic. So they slide out like that or you just take them off. So there comes the little mirror and then you can just take one each of them off individually and use them, which is so, there's not really another company on the market that has packaging like this for their eyeshadows, so it's really neat. Like I said, this retails for $48. It is available on the Melt Cosmetics website right, right now. Uh, let me just swatch the four colors for you so that you can see what they look like, and then I'm going to, we're going to jump right into an eye look. So the first color here is called Skeleton Kiss. This is like a, it's a very light pink ivory color and it, it does have a sheen to it. It's not a metallic, but it's more of your, it's a muted like sheen that it has to it. So let me swatch that first. So there's that one. I mean, that is just so pretty. I love this color, the color combinations in this palette. It's right up my alley. So this next one is called Last Caress. And this one is a, uh, this one is a matte. And this one is a matte plummy. It's like a plum, dark plum, almost eggplant brown color. So there's that one. Then we have, then we have Mean Streak. Now this is like your dark, this is your dark eggplant color. So there's that one. And then the last one in here is my favorite. It's the one that's named after this whole stack. It's the She's in Parties. And this is your metallic color from the palette. This is what um, you'll see me use in the eye look later that I have on right now. We're gonna do this eye look here in just a moment. Now this one is your dark violet purple metallic shade. And these just complement each other so beautifully. I'm going to jump right into an eye look. If you want to see how I got this finished eye look on my eyes today, keep watching. All right, so get All right, so let's get right into this eye look. We're going to start with um, this shade called Skeleton Kiss. I'm gonna just take this as a transition shade. It does look a little like it's a little bit of a metallic-y shadow, but I think it'll still work for an all over lid color. So let's just try this out here. All right. That's really pretty, just kind of like a, it's the lightest of a baby pink color. So, and I think that looks nice all over the lid there as our transition shade. All right, so, and that was a ColourPop brush. Most of my brushes that I use are from either ColourPop or BH Cosmetics. I love their brushes. They're inexpensive and they work great. So you really can't go wrong. So I think what we're gonna do is go in with a little bit more. This is the ColourPop E9. And I'm gonna take this next shade here, which is called Last Caress. 
And I'm just gonna take this and just kind of start blending all over back and forth like windshield wiper motions. I think what we're gonna do is pretty much a halo eye look with this. I think that would be really pretty with uh, the dark metallic color in the middle. So I'm just gonna do this on both sides. So let's keep building here. This is a really pretty it starts out as like a light, lighter mauve shade, but as you can build it up, it's gonna just deepen to really create that halo effect around my eyes here. I'm gonna go in one more time on each side. Okay, nice. So I think what I'm gonna do is go back to my ColourPop fluffy brush here and just kind of smooth out the edges on the top. So everything looks well blended. And then we're gonna go in with a darker color here. So this is the darkest of the matte shadows. It's called Mean Streak. So I'm gonna go in this is my BH Cosmetics brush number six from the Royal Affair palette. And it's a little bit more, it's a little bit fluffier than the last contour brush I was using. And just really, we're gonna really start defining that halo look now. I love the, the eyeshadow colors in this stack. It had been sold out for the longest time. And then finally I saw that it was coming back. So I made sure to jump online and get it. Because I wanted to try it. This is actually my first time trying the Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. These formulas are really good. Uh, as you can see, they're blending out really well. The dark colors, especially like this, these are the really dark colors that sometimes are really tricky to work with but this seems to be doing a good job. Okay, I'm gonna balance that out here, get the side. Okay, so we're gonna go back in with this ColourPop E9 brush. We're gonna go back to that last shade here, Last Caress, and we're gonna try to do some more blending of those two together. Okay, so it's really, you can really see that dark smokiness coming together in this eye. So let's go back in with the blending brush here. We're gonna start blending all of it together again. Just 
Let's go to the other side, do the same thing. Okay, so that's what that's looking like blended out. So what I wanna do is go in with this darkest shade here in the center of this, and this is the actual She's in Party's eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take, this is a ColourPop E3. It's a flat brush, and I'm just gonna take this. We're gonna try this dry first and see. It's really pretty. We'll try this other side dry too, and then if we want to maybe intensify it a little bit more, we'll go in, we'll use my finger and try that. That usually makes all the difference for me, but this is looking really pretty. I just want to take and go right in the center of this just to intensify it a little bit more. See the intensity you're getting from that. Do the same thing on this side, right in the center. That is gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is take, I have this Eco Tools brush. Um, it has a smudge end and a blending end. I'm gonna take, go back into that darkest color, Mean Streak, to go underneath my eyes and run. Run that right there into, right into the top there. Do the same thing on this side, right up underneath the eyes. Run it right up to the top there. So it all blends seamlessly. It's really pretty. Really loving that. I have a couple of the Melt Eyeliners that I also wanna try out. These I have never tried out before. So I have this one. It's called um, Lamia, I believe it's called. It's L-A-M-I-A. -I, I think I'm pronouncing that one right. Yep, Lamia. And then I have a black one that's called 1947. So these are just your pencil type of eyeliners. So I'm gonna take this one and just run it. This is the Lamia, which, let me do a quick swatch so you can see. It's like a purple. Never mind the swatches above on my hand from Sephora trip earlier today. So let's see here. I like to run this right in here. Kind of deepen up that down there, right in the waterline here. And 
Then I think I'm gonna take some black over that. So here's this 1947 color. Just a black. Go right over top of that to really deepen things up. Go back in with my little smudger brush here and just smudge everything out and together. And let's go into the top and just tight line it with this 1947 color. Trying to make a little bit of a wing here with this eyeliner. Just a little bit and take this. Just kind of smudge it up here. The same thing on the other side. Just try to do like a little bit a smudged out wing here. So far that eye look is just looking gorgeous. an anniversary party to go to next week and I think this is probably the eye look I'm gonna go with so let me just put some mascara on all right so here's the finished eye look um, I really loved this it was my first time using eyeshadow from Melt Cosmetics and I think they were great this eye look came out beautifully the um, eye pencils that I used are awesome very creamy didn't tug at my eyes um, I just think the overall look is great and I definitely think it's worth the $48 price tag when you can get eyeshadows that blend out easily especially the dark colors it's really hard to get dark eyeshadows that blend out nicely I definitely think it's worth the money so for me this is an A plus and yeah so tell me what you think in the comments have you used Milk Cosmetics shadow eyeshadows before do you love them what do you think uh so let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go and hit like on this video and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.